Hello my friends, welcome to Heart of the Swarm Real Scale. Before we head into Old Soldiers, we have one thing to do. I, after the last mission, I'm not entirely sure that Wild Mutation is fair or balanced. Uh, Orca and I are actually talking about changing it to make it better on big stuff and worse on little stuff. We might make the shield equal to 100% the maximum life for the duration, so that it isn't completely useless against everything and then super OP on the small stuff. We're going to tweak it a little bit to make it real scale friendly, but until then, I'm going to jump into spawn banelings. I'm not going to switch either of these up. I'm going to go murder Kerrigan at some point, but I don't have the abilities yet, so we don't have that opportunity. And then I thought that we had a baneling evolution mission. We don't. Uh, I asked for everyone's opinion, but we'll have to do that after this mission because I just have no idea when the baneling evolution mission is apparently. <laughs> It's just something I never learned. So. Heading to Old Soldier's Real Scale. Looking forward to it. We've reached the Terran Fortress. Darn right we have. Now it's time to... Oh gosh, he's so small. Let's make some banelings. Crash them on in. We're going to try to open up the area. Oh gosh, ow. Try to open up the area, and then what we're going to do is try to clear both of the expansions. I don't know how it's going to go. Let's lift this up, and then swing on and snipe that siege tank because it does infinity damage per shot. Now, one thing that would be interesting to know is in the base version of this game, for whatever reason, you don't... Also, <laughs> Legacy of the Void Dependency messing up the timer. You don't get more Swarmlings on this attack for whatever reason. It is just a big oversight. And I'd be interested to know if Orca fixed it. Oh gosh, I have more than 500 units. I think he did. This is so many. Oh gosh. I do like this swarm style. I'm looking forward to play a little bit uh, bigger units soon, but I'm having fun still. These units are very enjoyable to run around with. Even if spawning six banelings might not be that good. Thanks. I just need to keep going, huh? I don't want to reconvene my forces or anything. There's no point. It's just send the wave after wave through and see what we can get done. Kind of feels like StarCraft 1, where you just have so many units you need to keep grabbing stuff and sending it, which is really cool. Spawn the Banelings. Blow up the Thor. Oh gosh, double Thor. Oh, we're going to try to take out this base. I think that's the most important thing to do here. Because we're not going to finish off the force. Take the Banshee down. Yeah, these guys are just too big. So that's going to be a pain in the butt. Let's see a more field. <laughs> They're so big! <laughs> that is, it's so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm drooling. Okay. Oh, man. I love that so much. It is just, it feels so right. I may have just got nuked back to the Stone Age, but it is fine with me. All right, we're going to take this base as fast as possible. Aberrations are quite tall, but apparently not tall enough to walk over Kerrigan. Oh, we got a queen under here. Hmm. That's weird to me that aberrations are that big. I trust Orca that he got all the sizes right because he was very, very rigorous with everything. It's just interesting that they're like 30 feet tall. I guess they're made out of a lot of people or something. I don't really understand. I'll destroy them if I get the chance, Zagara. What is it now? So we have this base. We're going to head on over to the north and see if we can try to finish clearing this area. There's only a couple Thors left. The Thors are going to be pretty difficult to fight. However, we got Kerrigan. Oh, she's so slow. Oh, real scale Kerrigan legs. Let's get some Banelings out. Oh, okay. Let's, let's lose our Banelings. Let's lift him. His little feetses. And Senator Slaps is able to do 40 damage a shot. We're pretty okay. 
And I think at this point we have everything clear. So we can keep droning up for a bit. This is probably going to be one of the faster missions, I hope. Simply because we're going to have a lot of economy to work with very early on. I'm going to get some aberrations to help out my arm. No, maybe... We've located hmm. the Zerg Hive Cluster. Deploy assault teams. These minerals are very rich. Zagara. I think I want only Banelings. I want 7 trillion Banelings. That is my decision on how this is going to go. Who asked you? So, we're... Thank you, Pushing. Kerrigan. We're going to do that. A lot of drones saturate all the bases, get literally 1,500 banelings or whatever, and then send them on in. Get oh going. gosh, they're really fast. Got real scale afterburners. Keep these going. Oh, baneling, real good shot there. And then these landed vikings are actually pretty legit as well. Let's get some spawn banes over here. Oh, she couldn't make it. There he is clear. I noticed right there that they have centrifugal hooks. Which is really nice. I don't think they normally do. That makes the baneling unevolved actually a viable unit. Cool. Really cool. And then... This here. This here. And just be ready for things to happen. We're going to get an attack and an armor upgrade. We want the armor so we can actually connect. We want to attack because big boom is better than small boom. And at some point we're going to have to figure out how to get the bonus objectives. I'm going to send Kerrigan up north and try her hand at the first one. We'll see how that goes. Oh, we got a couple idle guys here. They can turn into their favorite extractors for their patience. Thank you guys for waiting around. I really appreciate that. Uh, well, I can't do anything about that. However, I have a feeling Mr. Spawning Pool is going to have a bad day. What? Dude, that Viking sh killed this guy? <laughs> or was it this turret? <laughs> Greater. Uh, okay, it was the turret. It wasn't a Viking shooting halfway across the planet. That's good. So we got these upgrades on the way. Then build a swath of overlords. I don't know if that is the plural of overlord is or the whatever you know that word, like a parliament of owls. Whatever that's called. Oh, Jesus. This never Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that really scared me. Kerrigan was about to die. Um, Let's get the Baneling right here. And then lots of Zergles. 345 Zerglings in three seconds. Welcome to Zerg. Oh, it just feels right, doesn't it? Ooh. Well, I just lost 15 in one shot, and that also feels very Zerg. Getting a couple more overlords to finish off my supply, and then we're going to head... Oh, look at how tiny the Hellbat is. Yeah, it's just take... Oh, no, no, no. Let's get this over with. Banelings. Get going. Mm. I hope the Thor's not following me. Where is it? Right here? Alright. Uh, let's not fall into that. Oh, it's too... <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> I thought they'd be fast enough. I th I forgot that I got the carapace instead of, instead of the other upgrade. <laughs> Wow. Uh oh. This is a very weird fight. Ooh, Kerrigan's dead. She's down. We destroyed the queen of This is a really big attack wave. This is actually hard to manage. And the frame rate is so bad. I think this is gonna be the last time that I go Zerglings because of how laggy it is, but I really want infinity banelings. I just it sounds like a fun hobby. Okay, you need to chill. This is why I was trying to rally over here. We 
We do need to get these bonuses, as I said. Bailings are 2510. Oh, they're pretty gaslight, actually. I know that they're cheaper in Heart of the Swarm anyway. Oh, there's like a uh, fallout here. It reduces movement speed, cannot burrow, structures cannot be built. Well, that's cool. Can you feel it, Warfield? I'm back. Kerrigan, what does it take to kill you? Well, uh, looks like a couple Vikings, Warfield. I'm going to be holding this Banelink button forever. I'm going to go at 500 Banelinks. Okay, grab my control group's worth of Zerglings and try to get them out of here in time. I can't wait for the score screen at the end that has units lost to nukes. I'm pretty sure that it does. And that's going to be... It's going to be like 400. Well, I thought she'd do better. How about you? Will you do better? We got some spores over here. Keep the area safe. We have that spore upgrade. Oh my gosh, look at how much damage they do. They're doing 60 per volley. Incredible. They might actually take this down before the spores finish. Wow. Oh no. Yup. Wow. They're made of glass, but glass is sharp. Okay, let's find all the bands. Oh, here they are. Yeah, whatever. Go, banelings! See how you do! Pretty good so far. Planetary? How could you return to this? Gonetary? Well, let's open up the door. Oh, door's gone. See how many we can ram into there? Eh, it got pretty decent. Don't mind about that. It's over here. Am I the only one? I've said this before, but this mission specifically, Zagara sounds slightly different. I wonder if it's like because this was a mission that they made really early or just Zagara's voice actress had a cold or something, but she sounds slightly different to me. And I wonder if you guys hear it. I probably should have said it before she said anything, but whatever. Yes. We're just going to aim move a bunch of Zerglings into the bonus objectives until it gives me bonus levels and then I'm going to continue my Baneling fascination. Leave Char. If you stay, I will slaughter your men to the last. Ooh, that area is pretty brutal. See if we can get some tanks on top of these. Er, you know what I mean. Can we just target this down? 131 kill Thor, no problem. Damn it! You'll regret this, Kerrigan. We grab these, and I'm over here, and just keep producing banelings. If we get counterattacked, it. it'll be fine. Because I have a million banes to protect myself. Yeah, this, it just, it it feels like it's chugging along. I feel really bad for my CPU and GPU right now. We're definitely going to have to nix the Ling Bane from now on. Just so I don't have to buy new hardware. We're going to finish real scale and then we send this to like Linus Tech Tips or something and they're going to think that I was crypto mining for 10 years with it. In reality, I just played one campaign. That'll put an end to Warfield's experiments. I hope those bugs are good company, cause they'll join you in Oh, look at the mini-map. You should have left Char to me oh. field. Another missile. How persistent. Hmm. Not sure I want to deal with that. Nuclear launch detected. Well, it's time to go. <laughs> are launching another nuclear missile. Clear the area. Here's my strategy. Click. Oh, that killed most of the workers there. Here's the addition to my strategy. Camera follow enabled. Get them. You can do it, my friends. Deploy SCB. <laughs> so many banelings. The way is clear. 
What? Hunt them all down, but leave General Warfield to me. Y'all see that? That dude knew what was going on. He was just supposed to be <laughs> that that's built into the main arc our campaign and it worked out so well. That's wonderful. All right. We are going to go chug our way through that Banling Evolution mission, which I'm pretty sure exists. And we're going... I hope it does. Hit me, baby. There we go. Banling. So, I looked through the comments. I asked you guys for your opinions on what the best Banling Evolution would be. And overwhelmingly, everyone said the Splitter Bane. So... We're going to get the Splitter Bane. We'll use it at some point. I don't know exactly when, but it'll probably be later into the campaign. I, I just want a little bit of a break from Ling Bane for the most part. We're going to be getting Mutas soon, so we'll be able to play around with those. That sort of thing. I don't know. Thank you for the Banes. A roll, roll, rolling across. Oh, can we even kill these? Barely. How much damage do the splits do? Five. That's that's okay. It's like not a super high amount for real scale given high HP things, but against low HP things, that's actually pretty amazing. Oh. Wait, why didn't it come out of the close nidus? What about you, buddy? So. Don't be honest, not a super big fan so far. We ran out of Banelings on the Baneling Evolution mission. This is why you have to get that upgrade that makes them do double damage to their main target. It's so strong. Let's go through this. Perfect. Ready your next experiment, Avatar. Now we're gonna get some bouncy boys. Here they go. We're gonna see if we can make it across before the thing. We're not gonna do the uh, trigger break strategy, but we are gonna try. If you're really, really fast, you can get a couple banes across here. If you're, oh yeah. Oh, we saved like. No time, because it takes the same number of lava cycles either way. But it was so worth it, wasn't it? There's never been anything more worth it. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I love that. Uh, I always... The Hercules, like, never matters, but that's so hilarious. It's so goofy. In just a great old way. But we might be able to make it, yes. So this triggers the cutscene, and this resets the lava wave. So now, we are perfectly fine jumping on over to the end. And bopping Mr. Planetary Fortress, I hope. Assuming our Banleys do enough damage. How much do they do? 80? Yeah, that'll be fine. Where are they coming from? It's a lot closer than it normally is, though. Experiment successful. Ooh. Sequences. So, this is what everybody asked for, is Mr. Splitter, so we're gonna grab him. Oh, they're blonde. Do they not have eyes? Oh. That's probably good. It'd be really hard to see if you were a rolling, pulling Baneling. <laughs> I need to make sure that I have the correct Baneling upgrade. I do Corrosive Acid, this one's really good. The other two are very meh. And... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Those nukes were so cray-cray. Absolutely ridiculous in the greatest way, Bob. They're just so big. Oh. <laughs> Warfield's so fun. He's one of my favorite characters. He really got screwed in Heart of the Swarm. This is what we're going to talk about. Tell me why Warfield deserved better. Because there's no arguing against it, so we can't have a debate about it or anything. I just want you to talk about how Warfield was a very mistreated character in Heart of the Swarm, and he really should have, like, survived because he was awesome. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.